This candle might genuinely be the best candle I've ever smoked in my life. Can't go wrong with the range. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the week where I'm doing an in-depth week in the life of a third year at Erdang, which is exciting. I've been wanting to do a proper one for ages, but we've just been so busy with so much work and training's getting intense. But now I've come to a point where I'm like, yeah, let's do it. So we're gonna do it. I thought I'd talk about just before that, the, mm. but just before this vlog begins, I wanted to quickly talk to you about the um, timetable and the experience, I guess, as a third year track C. Where's my iPad? That's Amy flushing the toilet. <laughs> so as you can tell, I've got Amy with me. We don't have ATS this year because it's been replaced with this class called Masterclass. Masterclass! <laughs> It's like setting up a mock audition, so you get the same experience walking in the room, walking out the room, saying what songs you're bringing, having different criteria to bring them in for, so we'll have a different musical each week, so mm -hmm. we did last week. We've done Wicked, Jesus Christ, Les, Les Mis and Hamilton so far. Yeah. Um, and you have a guest teacher who comes in who is uh, somewhat related to the show that you are um, doing a mock audition for, so they have kind of an insight experience onto and opinion on your performance and your approach to the audition, which is so beneficial and- I can smell as the poo I just <laughs> did. And you also have a masterclass a week in jazz audition, which mm. is obviously the dance approach, which is also just as important to get you through that dance round. Yeah, all the so, dancers audition for Les Mis, all the singers audition for Matthew Bourne. Like, it's just how it goes. And it's great to be thrown into- It's great to be thrown- <laughs> thrown into those circumstances because you never know what job you could be auditioning for. Um, but yeah, so also on top of that, you have to do your dissertation. But like all universities, you have to do one. It just happens that Erdang obviously focuses on the practical element because that's what performing is. And then you've just got the little thing of making sure you can write and that you've learned something. There's many kind of approaches to it and you can do it about literally anything related to the arts in some form. You, you don't even have to also? relate it to the arts. I'm doing mine on, um, on how on the responsibilities of young characters within the musical horror genre, mm. which is fun. What are you doing? Um, fat phobia in the musical theatre industry. So like, why casting is the way it is in relation to weight mm. and size. I don't think it's going to be. A, oh my god, this is really tough because it's actually a lot easier. Mm. Just find something you're passionate about. Literally, if you just love talking about musicals, like. I've gone through. Talk about Just your favorite talk about composer. your favourite composer. Yeah. Talk about your favourite musicals. Analyse it. That's it. That's it. It's a lot easier than you think. Um, and we're both dyslexic, so it's going to be <laughs> we fun. We both can't read. <laughs> well, this week, you're going to see a bit. We're auditioning for our third year shows. Which is things where you're like, you've trained so hard. And to be rewarded by doing a big fat musical together in your third year is probably something that I've been most looking forward to from day one because it's it is exactly like uh, well, you just yeah like I said I hope you guys enjoy this weekly vlog I hope you enjoy this weekly vlog um and yeah I'll see you in a bit enjoy oh, <laughs> oh no they're not done <laughs> So we are about to have Adam Scott's tech jazz. This is scary. She hasn't blinked in five minutes. Day one is over. We just had singing tech, really tired. Now doing some dinner and meal prep. Let's get the protein in, get the Aldi deals going. Gonna do a load of chicken, couscous, some vegetables. Weeks worth of lunch. I had to buy lunch today because I didn't have anything ready. What are you making, Becca? Um, I'm currently making a noodle soup. I'm currently having a snack. It goes with your jumper. Charity shop. So yeah. 
Apple. So we're about to go take out the recycling because it's just, I'm not going to show you the actual recycling. Or maybe I will if Alex oh, is no, close enough to, to it. Oh, it is really bad though. You dun, can't dun, show dun, them. Dun, you dun, can't dun, show dun, them. Dun. Ah! <laughs> So it is now the end of Monday. <coughs> As you can hear, I've made it out alive. I don't lie, I'm feeling kind of quite poorly. I think there's like a horrible flu going around, but I did get my flu jab this weekend. So hopefully that kicks in just before my third year show audition. I've got my, it's really hot. I've got my, I've got my rhubarb tea in a really cute mug that my sister got me for my birthday, which is really nice. Oh my god, it smells so good. So hopefully that mends me a little bit. I'm working on my dissertation before I go to sleep, just doing some last minute research on a chapter. So we are having luncheon. Luncheon is gone. Oh yeah. So, we are about to have commercial, but instead of it being a dance class, we're focusing on makeup tutorials and stuff. Which is really cool, so it's kind of the makeup that we need to wear for the industry for our auditions. So that's exciting, and kind of focusing on skincare. It's not a We've just gotten back from Erdang. We're watching Saw, <laughs> eating an ice cream. Just learnt some lines for acting for camera. So, Becca's got a tea bag quote. Go on. Okay. Learn to speak the first word to identify yourself. Mm. So, one word to identify yourself. What's yours, Amy? Sexy. Sexy? Okay. Becca? Camp. <laughs> What's yours? What's yours? Wait. Full out. I'm very close. What? What's mine? One word. It's <laughs> so <laughs> in the background. <laughs> Friendly. <laughs> Sicky. My improv attack. Ash, that was your self My improv? Yeah, yeah. it'll be this. Look at me. So we've just all filmed one of our scenes for acting for camera, which is fun. Camera rolling. Action. Am I gonna have to carry this through? You look younger than me in pictures. I look like my mum. Yeah. Where's your grand? I promised myself that this wouldn't be the meeting of two strangers in silence. That I'd go in head first, straight in, and show what I'm made of. I'm really stressed learning those lines last night. Um, but yeah, now we're all getting ready for our big third year dance audition. Which is exciting. Um, we found out last night that it's to Fabulous Baby from Sister Act and anything goes. And we're tapping. Uh, of course we are. Of course. Here we go. 
we're bloody having it. We are having it. Hey, for this audition. We're going to be fucking ballistic. <laughs> so we are in acting now and we're doing our monologues. We have to do a classical and a contemporary for our assessment. We're doing notes. <laughs> so I um, split a hole in the groin section of my jeans and I need to wear them. To Where is the hole? Uh. Oh, there it is. And I need to wear these tomorrow for the singing audition. Becca, what are you auditioning for? Oh my God, I can't look like that. Um, we'll look back on this. Spring awakening <laughs> and anything goes. Spring awakening, anything goes over here. Absolutely. What characters are you going for? Irma and Martha. Ooh. Amy, what shows are you auditioning for? I'm doing Spring Awakening and Sister Act. What parts are you going for in them? I'm going for Sister Mary Patrick Ooh. in Sister Act. And I'm going for Sister Mary Patrick in Spring Act. <laughs> I'm going for Mary. Martha as well. I think it's clear who you're gunning just for. Just a girl. In <laughs> just a girl spring. part, ideally. Just a lady. Just a lady. Or any... <laughs> I'm auditioning. <laughs> I'm auditioning. <laughs> I'm auditioning. <laughs> I'm auditioning for Anything Goes and Spring Awakening. I'm going for Billy slash Moonface. Don't care. Love them both. He's going to get both of them. And Spring Awakening. <laughs> Melchior, Moritz, something like that. But I really, really would love Anything Goes. But you can't be gunning for shows. But you absolutely have preference. Did you just fart? No. But the thing is, I didn't really get much content today because the classes were a bit quick. I couldn't They're vlog no a lot today um, because I was kind of really ill this morning. Um, sniffed. <laughs> oh yeah, let me talk to you about dance no, audition. I'm stopping you from talking to your camera. Let, let me, me talk, talk to you. Can I talk to you about the audition? Oh, I need to do this in a more serious way. So the dance audition for the third year musical was were really fun. Like it, it was very intense because there is 135 of us uh, all put in the Great Hall together. Mm. And that side of it was really hard to kind of pick up the choreography, see the details that were required and kind of give the best performance. But you kind of made do with what you were given and you kind of just put on a show with that. He danced to Fabulous Baby, but <laughs> so English. Fabulous, Fabulous Baby. Baby from Sister Act, which was really fun. It was kind of like... It's quite disco-y, very camp, like it was brilliant, like it was really good fun. And then we are tapping to Anything Goes next, uh, in the, in two weeks time, it's ages away. Um, because the, the, we won't know this cast list until just before Christmas. But yeah, anyway, this dance audition, I think it went okay, like I'm, I, I kind of wish that I'd do it again. <laughs> I'm very much like a, I, we, now we did it a few times, I'm like now I've, now I've got it. It took me ages because being Alex Williams, I'm W, I'm at the it's end hard. of the register, 135 people down, my whole body was so stiff, I was like forgetting bits of the choreography, like, but you just make do with what you got. Use your face, perform the hell out of that thing, perform the hell out of that number and just own it. And I feel like it was one of those moments of, oh my God, do or die. Yeah. So tomorrow's the singing audition. So tomorrow we are going to fucking kill it. Yeah. Um, and it will be our time to shine and show the acting chops and the singing chops that we've got for the shows that we want to be in. And yeah. So, um, yeah. So like putting outfits together for tomorrow. Hysterical dress. <laughs> Which is fun. Kind of smart casual 
a hint at the shows, maybe, if you want. <laughs> Amy's going in dressed as a nun. Uh, um, <laughs> and all. And I'm going as a sailor. So, can't wait. Okay. We're going to go to bed now, because it's late. <laughs> I'm really tired. Bring on Thursday. Today is the day. We are getting ready for our third year singing auditions. Just had a shower. Amy's about to go get her, get her. She's about to go for her slot. Yep. Ah! So I've gone with this like polo. I wanted to give Anything Goes and Spring Awakening. I feel like it's got both sides to them. Very different color when like natural light hits it. But it's really nice. I got it from ASOS for like a tenner. <sighs> Here we go. Um, I just had my audition, it went really well. Um, I'm waiting for these two to go in and woohoo! Shake it in my face. I had to do this. Oh, we're going through that door. I wanna die. <laughs> Excitement, so the audition was good. I was really happy with it. Um I'm really excited for the recalls. I uh, like I'm quite ill. I'm quite shocked that I've come out with such a skip in my step. Um, I just really enjoyed it. I, just, I wanted so well, but like it, it's such a stressful time. But um, I think everyone smashed it, and I feel like we're all really ill at the moment. And to get through that was really cool. Yeah. So that is Thursday over. <laughs> We've made it. It is the final day of the week. It is like seven thirty. Um, I've got a jazz masterclass with Jack Murphy, who choreographed Bridgerton and Night Queen Charlotte. It's like a actor period drama dance jazz masterclass, which is really cool. Something that's like quite niche. And I'm very excited for this one. Yeah, we've been told to wear male presenting, we've been told to wear t shirts, trousers. I'm very excited. Great. <laughs> Getting the character skirts on. Yeah, Excited. That's Bridgerton today. Oh, Bridgerton. Oh. <laughs> Can you please vote for my brother Leighton Williams on Strictly this Saturday? <laughs> <laughs> Sexiest man for ballet. Oh, look, don't look for that. So we just had our tap for audition. We did Mrs. Doubtfire. We did Easy Peasy. It's easy peasy. It's easy peasy. Me and Amy got picked out to perform. So there's a video of that now. Oh, also we did the jazz masterclass. It was really fun, very acty, like Bridgerton. It was beautiful, it was, it lovely. was lovely. It was really good. And now we've got ballet with Caroline Crawley to bring us home. So I've just come home for a bit after ballet. Now I'm off to the final class of the week, which is accent and dialect. We're all doing like a little mini speech on accents. And we had to like case study a certain accent. I've done Northern Irish because I really want to brush up on my Northern Irish. But yeah, so I'm dressed, ready to go to work as well because I've got to go to the pub straight after this. Last class. Hi there. Unsubscribe. <laughs> And then I guessed that the, the hesitation sound was an arm. Like the first <gasps> and that is it, guys. This brings our week to an end. I'm so happy it's half term. When, when you do like six weeks straight training, you're just like, you just really appreciate it. Oh, you just really appreciate the breaks. You just need a breather sometimes. And that's good. You need them. I really hope you enjoyed that because I had a lot of fun making it. I'll make sure to be doing more Week in the Lives at Erdan because I think it's probably very useful to see kind of what goes on within the studios, a real insight into the experience and what it's like and what happens at home, because I feel like that's also just important. It's now like officially autumn turning winter. I love that autumnal 
stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. There'll be lots more coming out, especially when we're getting closer to 30 shows. But yeah, please make sure you like and subscribe, share to your friends, and make sure that muggins over here is seen. Yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic week, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!